Hey guys, I'm a Burke and I do things and today's going to be like a little bit of a combination video because I did want to do a chatty get ready with me but I felt like I didn't have too many things to update you on but I also have a couple of new makeup products that I thought I could try today so it's kind of going to be a combination of a catching up on what's going on in my life while we try just a couple new things. I have a new foundation, eyeliner, eyeshadow, and lip product to try so I'll try Make sure to link everything down below in case I forget to say what I'm using throughout the video. But if you guys want to see me try on a couple new products and catch you up on what's going on on the DL, then keep on watching. Let's go. How's everyone's fall going? Mine's good so far, for the most part. So I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And I figured I'd update you guys because when I had my anatomy scan last month, they did find out that I have placenta previa and they were going to need to recheck it again this month. So I did have that ultrasound this past week and everything's great with the baby. She's doing fine, but the I still do have previa. Right now the placenta is just sitting kind of right on top of the cervix. So they say basically right now it's really 50-50 if it is going to move. So I will be going back again November 3rd for another ultrasound to see if it has moved. Okay, so this is a foundation I'm gonna try. I've never tried a foundation from ColourPop. I'm very excited. This is the new Hydrating Pretty Fresh Foundation. I got this in Fair uh, 20N and I realized I also have Fair 20N in the concealer. So it'll be interesting to see how these pair together for sure. I really don't have any expectations going in. I'm just gonna try it and hope it works. Of all of the foundations ColourPop has come out with, I feel like the reviews I've seen on this have called to me the most. That's why I went through and bought this from Ulta. Actually, when I got it, it was on sale for like 11 or $12. So it was a really good price. And I'm gonna go in with my Haley Beauty Sponge and apply it to my face and see how it goes. Let's see how the shade matches. Yeah, that's a good shade match. That should work. In the past week, I have had my first experience with uh, Braxton Hicks contractions. I didn't fully know what was happening at the time. I think it was last Monday night. Well, it was like kind of in the early evening. I started getting like a lot of tightness in my stomach and I did not know what was happening to me. And Scott wanted me to call the doctor, so I did. And kind of while I was waiting for like a call back from the doctor, I was kind of Googling it like, are these Braxton Hicks? Like I didn't know how early necessarily you could start getting Braxton Hicks. And when I saw like you can start getting them at 20 weeks, I was like, oh, that's probably what this is. Cause it was saying they don't last very long. You don't get them very frequently. And the doctor basically said like, this is what it should be like. If it's not like this, we'll want you to come in later tonight. But I think I wound up having three or four that night and then only one the next day. So there really isn't anything to be worrying about. So far, foundation doesn't look too bad. Uh, before I go in with the concealer though, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Becca corrector. I've just been really enjoying using this because I feel like it means I don't have to use as much concealer. And that's been pretty awesome because I feel like it's been helping a lot with like the way my under eyes look. And now I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Fresh Concealer. Honestly, not my favorite. I do feel like this 20N concealer is a little bit darker than the coordinating foundation, but we can deal with it. I'm trying to look at them like, even like in the bottles, like the, the concealer looks darker than the foundation. Something Scott and I also have been working on is a uh, monthly budget for the rest of the year because we realized there's a, there's a bunch of stuff we still need for the baby. And there are like things we know we're not gonna get at the baby shower. So we kind of made an Excel spreadsheet going through like stuff we're gonna need for like months zero through three and all the postpartum stuff I'm gonna need, which is both postpartum care and breastfeeding preparation. So we made a list of all that stuff and we broke it down to a monthly budget for the rest of the year. And we've been getting a few things on that list. A lot of it that we've been focusing on is the postpartum because that's stuff you definitely know people aren't going to get you for your baby shower. So I will be hauling a bunch of that stuff on my next pregnancy vlog whenever that drops. I do feel like the concealer blended in pretty well with the foundation though. I feel like they look like they go together, which you would expect. 
so like I said, we did use, we did buy a bunch of postpartum stuff. A lot of it was both from Target and Amazon. And there was a sale at Bye Bye Baby last week. So we also grabbed our diaper pail and a bathtub thermometer that I wanted because it's like a bathtub thermometer, but it also kind of is like a toy. So it kind of like has dual purpose, but I have actually been testing out the bathtub thermometer while I'm bathing and works pretty well. So I set under my eyes with my ambient lighting powder, but I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me. Cause this is a product I am trying to hopefully finish up this month. I will say that I feel like it's sitting really well on my face, but I feel like it's not sitting the greatest on my nose, which that happens. Yeah, I feel like it's like lifting a little bit on my nose, but th I feel like that is very common for me <laughs> with foundations. So far though, I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna use my Shop My Stash brow products, which is the Wonder Beauty Brow Pencil and the NYX Bear With Me Brow Gel to do my brows. The budget we set up is specifically for the baby things slash postpartum things. So we also have like a whole checklist that I've put together of things we need to get done in the house before the baby is born. And one of the things I had wanted was, we have always wanted to get like a th large throw rug for our living room, but you know, it's something that never really got prioritized since we moved in. And it was something that I wanted because we just have like a hard floor down there and I wanted something soft to be able to have her on if she's doing tummy time downstairs. So we found a really, really, really soft, <laughs> fluffy rug from Target. It's so soft. It's like the softest rug I've ever felt. The pattern wasn't necessarily like the number one pattern I'd want from a rug. However, it was the only pattern available in the size that we wanted that was that exact like material. So we were like, you know what? It doesn't not go with the room, it's just, it wouldn't have been our number one choice, but the, first of all, we love the rug, it's so comfortable. But the cats, the cats love it. They treat it like it's one big giant new bed we bought them, which is very, very cute, obviously. Now for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the rest of the face products in this palette. But yeah, it was definitely nice to be able to cross something off that list, because the list is big, and there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to get done in the next couple months before we don't have the ability to get things done. So it's one more thing checked off the list. Like the first thing on our list had been redoing our bedroom, which if you've seen that video, it was very, it's been very satisfying actually like having that room done and it's just so much more functional. And I don't know, I just, I feel a little bit more relaxed when I'm in there now because I just feel like the room is ready. <laughs> and it's a lot more important that that room be ready for her <laughs> than necessarily her nursery, so. We're good. Actually, a twist in the story is last night I got sick. So like I threw up <laughs> my dinner last night, which I haven't done that in like a couple months. Like I haven't gotten sick like that in a couple months. So it was a surprise. Not something I had uh, really expected to happen. So that was quite unexpected. But also something very exciting that happened was I got waffles and ice cream. So around this time last year, there was like a community day in the area. And one of the local businesses that's like a waffles and ice cream parlor had like a little like truck there and it was so good. And obviously like we haven't been going anywhere in 2020. So I haven't had this ice cream since basically last October, I guess. And I saw the truck drive by us the other day. And ever since then I was like, I need waffles and ice cream. So we actually went and bought waffles and ice cream last night and magic shell. We got some magic shell too. And it was so, so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> really made my day, especially after I had gotten sick. So I guess I got rid of my dinner and made room for dessert. I think I'm going to throw a little bit in, of the bronzer in the crease before we get into the new eyeshadow that I want to try. I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but you guys will be seeing this after that doctor's appointment. So. I'll probably know what's going to come of it, but I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my OBGYN. So I'm guessing everything should go pretty well and it's just like a routine visit, nothing too exciting. 
but actually tomorrow we're doing another online class. So we did a class through my birthly, I think is what it's called for newborn care. And that was like something we had to pay for and we did not think it was worth it, but we actually did sign up for two classes through our hospital. They're all zoom calls. Uh, tomorrow's is going to be the breastfeeding class. Next month we have a three parter birthing class. So we got a busy schedule ahead of us. So I purchased the Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow in the shade 02 Ironic. And I'm just gonna use my finger. Wow, it is so, oh my God. What? It's like wet. Oh, that is very pretty. Holy mackerel, what? I mean, it is like a $5 eyeshadow, so. Wow. That is, I don't remember the last time I tried something from Essence that excited me this much right off the bat. Holy moly. It's like, what? That is so pretty. I'm just gonna go back and blend the crease a little bit more. Wow. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the center ambient light powder, just diffuse the edges. I seriously use this palette all the time. Wow. That's beautiful. Sorry, that really threw me off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try an eyeliner. I'm a little nervous to try an eyeliner, but this is the uh, Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner. I've heard both Jessica Braun and Emily Noel rave about this, but for a while I couldn't find it on Ulta. But now it seems to be back. They also seem to have it in a lot of different colors, which maybe they took it off Ulta to develop like different colors, but I just got black. Both of them say that like the ergonomics of this actual handle make it so easy to hold so i'm excited to try it this is kind of what it looks like i do think this is a five dollar eyeliner which is very affordable i'm excited to try it out also nervous because this is not my my forte oh but i really do like that eyeshadow okay i'm going to start over here i really don't want a big wing today i was doing my makeup yesterday and my wing got some may say out of control. I would like, oh, that is very easy. Oh, that was very easy. I did not struggle at all. I'll be interested to see how it dries. I just, um, cause right now it's looking real shiny. So I'm interested to see how it dries, but I actually just purchased another eyeliner from Yes Style. I made a big Yes Style order this past week, but that might take a while to come in, but. I don't know. I went through like a big phase of not wearing liquid eyeliner and now I'm in a phase of wearing a lot of liquid eyeliner, I feel like. I definitely agree. It's really easy to manipulate, but I really can't tell if it's dry and shiny because I feel like I can see the chrome eyeshadow kind of through. So it might need a couple of layers. All right, I'm going to leave that be for a second and I'm going to tight line really quick because, oh God, why is that such a mess? I just closed it and got black eyeliner all over myself. Don't know how that happened. All right, well that's, like I said, well, my wings are so uneven, that is incredible. While that's drying and I'm getting this off, I'm gonna tight line really quick because sometimes that helps. This is just Urban Decay Glide On in the shade zero. I just like to tight line where I have the wing because I feel like it blends everything better. I'm not gonna do the bottom. Wow, how did I do my wings so not the same? I totally need to fix them because they're... Remember when I was like, I don't want to have crazy wings today? Why do I even say that? Hmm, could that make it better or worse? Need to stop while I'm ahead. Um, what the heck? Why is this so messy? I've never had that happen with an eyeliner before. What is going on? How am I getting black eyeliner everywhere when I'm wearing a white shirt? Is it like, I don't know what's happening. I am not happy about that though. And of course it's not gonna come off this black eyeliner and I need like a oil based remover. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry for a second. I'm gonna set my face really quick with the Morphe spray. I can't remember if I had anything else to tell you guys. We have breastfeeding class tomorrow. It's like an hour and a half Zoom meeting. I'm throwing some Thrive Mascara. 
I'm just, I just got so distracted by my fingers being covered with black eyeliner that threw off my groove. Other than that, something that's very interesting is this last week, actually, my back pain has been very minimal. I think it's because like more's going on in the front this past week. Like I feel like my stomach has really gotten a lot, a lot bigger in the last week. And like maybe that's why I was having the backs and hicks because like the front is really doing its thing and the back was getting like the week off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't expect the back pain relief to be permanent for sure. But I will say I'll take the couple uh, instances of Braxton Hicks I had this past week over the constant back pain I had for the weeks prior, uh, for sure. We'll go back to the eye stuff in a minute because I want to try out, I did want to try out this lip product. It's from Jane Iredell. I've never tried this brand. This is their Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain. I got this for free from Ulta, but I thought it'd be cool to try it. It's the shade Forever Pink. It's a stain, so I'm guessing it must have pigment, right? Oh gosh, is it like going to be like baby gum, bubble gum pink? Cause I'm not gonna be excited about that. Mm. I don't know how to heal about it. I mean, it's very moisturizing feeling. It's also very pink. I don't know, I don't think I would put this on my cheek. I know it says it's a lip and cheek stain, but kind of just feels like a lip balm, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm so annoyed right now. Um, Let me get a really good close up at the eyes. Yeah, this um, eyeliner is not matte at all. It is very like shiny, if that bothers you. I really like the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow looks really cool. And the foundation, I feel like looks really nice too. Not sure about the lip product yet. I mean, it's cool to get this little free sample, but I don't know. And the eyeliner, I'm gonna have to play around and see if like, I don't know if it's cause it was brand new and it had like a lot of juice in it, it made a mess, but. I'm gonna have to play with that a bit. Of course, everything will come back in a mid-month makeup review later on where I will do a full review on my experience with things. But overall, I mean, I'm happy with, my, with the way my makeup looks. I mean, it looks nice and fresh and I mean, it looks pretty fresh. Ha <laughs> ha uh, Honestly, the biggest standout to me right now is this product. I want, maybe I should just do a swatch. I don't swatch a lot, but like, Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Like, I would not be against getting other colors. <laughs> wow, that is just beautiful. Very impressed, very impressed. Like I said, I got O2 Ironic. They had about five or six shades, I think, at Ulta when I ordered. But yeah, I'll make sure I link everything I used down in the comments. Let me know if you guys are trying these products. Let me know if you have anything to say about, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter, you can just leave it in the comments. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.